Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this project, I'm building a chess robot using the AR4 MK3 robotic arm. Before going further, I need to make sure the robot can reach every square on the chessboard accurately and position itself correctly. To control the robot, I'll be using Python, since the final chess robot system will also be fully controlled with Python. So in this video, let's test how well the robot moves using a simple Python control program. Since I'll be sending movement commands through serial communication, we first need to understand what kind of command format the robot expects. We can find these command examples in the AR4 MK3 software, under the config settings section. Here's the Python code I used to control the robot's movement, for example, moving from E2 to E4. Make sure the serial port and baud rate are set correctly before running the code. In this setup, I'm using four reference positions, A1, H1, A8, and H8. These reference points should first be tested and verified using the AR4 MK3 software. Based on those references, the positions of the other squares will be calculated automatically. I also use a temporary position before moving to the target square. This helps compensate for the backlash in the robot's mechanics, making the final movement more precise. Next, don't forget to set the gripper positions for open and close, as well as the Z-axis height for picking up a chess piece from the square. I'll share the full Python code, you can find the download link in the video description below. When you run this Python code, it will ask you to enter a move, for example, A8 to A1. The program will then command the robot to move the chess piece from square A8 to square A1 automatically. We can see the robot slowly lowering to pick up the piece from square A8, then lifting it up gently. After that, the robot moves to a temporary position before heading to the target square, A1. This is because the robot I built has a bit of mechanical backlash. When joint J1 rotates only a small amount, it can sometimes lose precision. So by forcing J1 to move a bit more, we can achieve a more accurate final position. After placing the piece on the target square, the robot returns to its home position and waits for the next movement command. You might notice that before moving directly to the target square, the robot first moves through a temporary position. This step helps reduce the effect of mechanical backlash, a small amount of play or looseness in the joints. Since my robot uses several 3D printed parts instead of aluminum components, it's a bit more flexible, which makes backlash more noticeable. By adding this temporary position, the robot moves the joint slightly further before correcting its final position, resulting in a more accurate move. If your robot doesn't have backlash issues, you can remove this temporary position from the code. And that's it for this experiment. This process is an important milestone in my journey to build a fully functional chess playing robot using the AR4 MK3 robotic arm. Before creating a complete chess logic system or integrating vision and automation, I need to make sure that the robot can physically move with precision, reaching every single square on the chessboard correctly. Through this test, I've confirmed that the robot can follow the written commands accurately, such as moving from one square to another, lifting the chess piece, and placing it exactly where it should be. This step may look simple, but it's actually a crucial foundation. By experimenting with emotion control, serial communication, and position calibration, I now know how the robot behaves in real situations. It also helps me identify limitations, like the backlash caused by 3D printed joints, and how to compensate for them using techniques like the temporary position adjustment. With these results, I can confidently move on to the next stage, developing the full chess logic, move recognition, and maybe even connecting it to a digital chess engine in the future. Everything starts from small, practical tests like this, and each one brings me closer to a fully working chess robot. 
Thank you for watching, and if you're interested in following this project, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next update. See you in the next video.